The paintings of the Greek-born Italian artist Giorgio De Chirico were a key inspiration for the artists associated with the Surrealist movement, and specifically their engagement with magic and the occult. De Chirico's works center on themes of mystery and enigma, and it is in them that the irrational and bizarre world of dreams definitely takes concrete shape, intimating that a magical dimension pervades ordinary reality. André Breton, the founder of the Surrealist movement, adored De Chirico's works, and he also called him a painter of genius. And he specifically defined his works as examples of painterly revelation, so relating them directly to themes of magic and the occult. The composition that you see behind me, entitled The Child's Brain, painted in 1914, was a very significant work by Giorgio De Chirico. André Breton owned this painting and also showed it in his apartment in Paris, and therefore many of the Surrealists would have been able to see it firsthand. But now let's look at the composition um, in depth. So here seemingly there is no identifiable narrative. What we see is a figure with its eyes closed, standing in a vaguely defined setting next to a table on which we see a book placed moved slightly further away from the figure. So with its eyes closed, of course, possibly this points to the fact that this is a figure in trance or a state of meditation, or perhaps this is also an allusion to second sight, inner vision, and also clairvoyance. When André Breton described these paintings in his writings, he talked specifically about it as a case of transformation, but in fact also gender transformation. Because even if at first glance this seems to be a male figure, if we look closer at his face, there are features that are traditionally associated with both men and women. For example, we have the elongated eyelashes or groomed eyebrows, and we also have a mustache, so again, both male and female. And in fact, when André Breton had described the painting, he talked about it as a case of transformation that was not merely Freudian, but also magical.